What's up guys, Houndish here, and today Zoe returns to Destiny 2 for the weekend of the 25th of August, and we can see he's right here in the tower, in the hangar, pretty easy to find, because he's in one of the three places that he always spawns. Of course, it's Zer's first visit for Season of the Witch. I had to think about the name then, it's been quite a tiring week, but let's see what he's got for us this week. We have Crimson for the featured exotic weapon, certainly a very fun hand cannon if you're a newer player and have never used it. I totally recommend picking it up because it's pretty good across the board. And then we've got Graviton Forfeit right here. Total stat roll of 67, uh, leaning towards resilience and discipline. Fairly high resilience there, so not a bad roll. We also have Syntheseps for the Titans, uh, leaning towards mobility, intellect, and strength. With a total of 67, uh, but very high mobility there. And then we've got the Starfire Protocol, total of 66 mainly with recovery and mobility right there, but very low resilience. So let us know what you think about those stats. Kind of a mixed bag. But we've got the Ikelos hand cannon here with air assault and adaptive munitions. Then the GN7 rifle with grave robber and rampage. Then there is the death adder with dynamic sway reduction and rangefinder, as well as the sweet sorrow water rifle with stats for all and tap the trigger. Then we've got the Tripwire Canary with Archer's Tempo and Frenzy, which is a decent roll, probably one of the better rolls uh, this week in general. The Tarantula here has Pulse Monitor and Wellspring. Then there is the Sail Spy Pitch Glass with Compulsive Reloader and Multi Kill Clip. So potentially some bits to pick up there, but not necessarily super exciting on the weapons front. He does, however, have uh, the armor set from back in Season of Arrival, so that's the Holdfast set right here on Titans. Of course, if you're looking to add this to collection, since it doesn't drop elsewhere, it's a relatively rare armor set in terms of acquiring it these days. And of course, you can check in on your various characters to see the stat rolls and things like that. But for the exotic weapons, we've got Hawkmoon with Killing Wind, and of course, DMT has been moved to the exotic mission rotator, uh, so it's no longer in Zer's inventory, since it's a craftable weapon. We do have a video about the exotic mission rotator, so I'll link that one down below. Uh, also for the Xenology quest, if you are working on that on a week-to-week -week basis, you can get bonus progress in the exotic mission rotator as well. So a couple of interesting updates there. But otherwise, let us know what you think about Zer's inventory for this first visit of the season. Of course, no major changes to Zer himself. But if you're collecting in D1, this week he's got a legacy primary engram, as well as no backup plans, the transversive steps, trespasser, and the younger Hamkara spine, so you can always hunt him down and add things to collections there if you want to. But otherwise, guys, that does it for Zer this week in the game. So give us your thoughts in the comment section. If you've enjoyed the video, feel free to get subscribed and I'll keep you posted with more Destiny content. But otherwise, I hope you guys have an awesome day.